It took shucking 30 different USB drives from Western Digital before I could finally get a hard drive that had some problems that would require me to send it in for an RMA from Western Digital without reattaching or putting it back in to the plastic housing. You heard me right, I have finally had a problem with the Western Digital shucked drive. And in today's video, I'm going to finally answer once and for all whether or not you get a warranty if you send them in a bare drive after it goes bad. I definitely did not discover the entire concept of shucking Western Digital hard drives for cheaper alternative storage solutions than buying OEM drives from Western Digital. However, I would like to think that on some level, I probably nudged at least one or two people in the direction of shucking hard drives for that cheaper storage solution. And I cannot count how many times people have said in the comments of those videos, you lose your warranty if you shuck one of these hard drives. And on numerous times I've said, no, you still get your warranty at least here in the United States. With the whole right to repair thing in the United States, Western Digital does clarify that you only get two years versus a three year warranty on their standard OEM drives, but I've always said, no matter what you do with that drive, you shuck it. As long as you don't damage the drive, you still get that two year warranty. And believe it or not, over the last 30 shucked hard drives, I've been hoping to have a bad hard drive that I could send in to make this video, to either prove myself right or prove myself wrong. Either way, I'm gonna put it out there and just let you guys know, how it turned out. So that's today's video. I finally have an answer, but before I open this to see what they sent me, I'm going to tell you exactly what happened and how I sent the hard drive to them. So this all started right around January 17th-ish, where I had a hard drive fall out of my array in Unraid. It showed as being completely disconnected and I was unable to even see smart data until I took the drive, pulled it out, put it back in, restarted the entire server, etc. Once I was able to see the hard drive again in Unraid, I was able to run a smart test and I saw the different smart errors that were popping up. We're talking uncorrectable, pending sectors that were going bad. I mean, basically the drive was going bad, Unraid saw it was bad, or the drive just completely crapped out and then dropped out of the array itself. Either way, Unraid kicked it out of the array. Now, to be completely honest, the drive could have been out of the array for almost a week because I just don't check it all the time and Unraid simulates the data and I just, I wasn't really paying attention. Once I got the drive viewable in Unraid, I actually rebuilt the array one time to see if the drive was working at all, just to see if I could pull data and it was able to read and write from the drive. It took like a day, you know, 22, 26 hours, whatever it is for an Unraid to build a 12 terabyte maximum hard drive array. It rebuilt it, everything seemed like it was fine, but this is my opportunity to send it in the Western Digital to get a warranty exchange. Keep in mind that this hard drive was just a little bit over three months old. And of course, as you know, I don't exactly take any kind of, you know, special care when I'm shucking these drives. Like I literally just, just stab this thing with a knife and throw it away. Sometimes I keep them for decoration though or make a Christmas tree out of them. So not that I would actually want to put it into the original plastic casing, even if I did want to, it just would not work anyway because I kind of snapped and broke everything when I took it apart. Instead, I took a regular box that I had and an anti-static bag and a little bit of bubble wrap and then just sent it to them just like that. I made sure to use an electronics bag of some sort so they couldn't blame any kind of issues on the shipping and also the bubble wrap, of course, just to make sure it doesn't show up in shambles or with dents because again, that would be just one more reason for them to say, no, we're not gonna cover it because, well, you probably either screwed it up yourself or shipped it completely wrong and it got damaged in shipping. Put it all in the box, wrap it all up and drop it off at UPS. Yes, this all happened mid-January and it took me up until January 27th to actually send it out. It's, it's just a thing, my bad. But today is February 5th when I am recording this video. That means a week and a half later, they sent me my package. However, the big question is, will Western Digital honor a warranty, especially on a drive that's only like three, three and a half months old when it's completely removed from its plastic casing? So I'm going to unbox this in front of the camera and we are going to find out together whether or not they sent my old hard drive back or they sent a new one. And if they did, did they send me another easy store? Cause that's probably what it came out of. Or an Elements, that could be a thing. Or maybe they sent me a red OEM drive to replace it. Or maybe they said denied and they sent my hard drive back. Well, now I have my answer. 
They sent me a WD My Book. I don't think I've ever actually shucked this. Which, funny enough, I know these My Books don't go on sale, but this says three years? Does that mean three year warranty on the My Books? But the Elements and the, uh, the uh, Easy Stores only have two years, so, you know, I guess you still pay extra for these, but uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting. It says right here, three year warranty. So, hmm. I never shocked in my book, but these also never go on sale. So now something to note here is that the seals are fresh and this does not look like a refurbished unit. It could be, but I have actually submitted four warranty drives from WD before and they like, if they send you back a refurbished drive, like it's kind of a bare drive and it's kind of very obvious that it was a refurbished drive and it doesn't come in new retail packaging. So I actually think I got a brand new WD my book that now I can also make a shucking video on the WD my book. I'm probably just gonna make that a whole separate video. Either way, brand new drive. Instead of shucking this drive in the same video today, I'm going to continue recording a video tonight, but I'm going to record a shucking video of this type of drive. And I will release that probably a few days later because you know, search results and what people search for and, and you know, SEO friendly, that sort of thing. It's not a cliffhanger. It's just, it's YouTube. I mean, sorry. Tune in for the next video when I actually shuck this thing and see if it's the exact same Western Digital white label drives that I got out of the Elements or Easy Store. Or, you know, it could also like be like a glitter bomb. It's like Western Digital, like glitter bombs me with, you know, little miniature B&B logos and FUs because they found out who I was. I don't know, tune in the next video. A week and a half for the warranty exchange. Absolutely no pushback, no fighting, no emailing back and forth saying, no, I'm covered, you can't do this to me. None of that. All they did was take in the original hard drive, probably didn't do much to test it. I have no idea. It was a really quick turnaround time and they sent me a brand new in the package, just like it was right off the shelf, Western Digital, my book. Tune in for next video when I actually shuck this and see what comes with it. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe and share this video and have yourself a great day. It's not as easy as the other ones.